Hello and welcome. This is Mama Mythos, and in this episode, we'll uncover two mythical sea monsters from Greek mythology Deadly Sea Wench Scylla and the Bottomless Water Spout of Death, Charybdis. We'll feature the video games and movies these beings are featured and explain the origin and compare their physical depictions based off of the original story. Let's get started. Scylla and Charybdis were first mentioned in Homer's epic, The Odyssey. It is said that they resided opposite of each other within the Strait of Messina, which is in fact a real geographical location. It's between east of Sicily and west of Calabria in the south of Italy. The strait has strong tidal currents that create a natural whirlpool to the north. The strait is home to a peculiar ecosystem for deep sea fish like Chaliotis sloani, the Sloan's viper fish, which is pretty nightmare worthy. Legend has it, Scylla, daughter of the river Crataeus, was the most beautiful maiden. It is said that son of Poseidon, Glaucus, had loved her, and this made Circe, daughter of Sol, jealous and petty, because she loved Glaucus. So she plotted against Scylla and poisoned the tidal pool where Scylla bathed, with a tincture to deform her so that she may never win Glaucus. When Scylla went down into it, dogs sprang from her thighs and she was made a monster, horrific and ravenous forever to dwell in the mysterious waters where few survive. Later, when Circe had a new lover by the name of Odysseus, she avenged her injuries, for as Odysseus sailed by, she robbed him of his companions by devouring them one by one. And therein dwelleth Scylla, yelping terribly. Her voice indeed is no greater than the voice of a newborn whelp. What a dreadful monster is she, nor would any look on her gladly. Not if it were a god that met her. Verily, she hath twelve feet all dangling down, and six necks exceeding long, and on each a hideous head, and therein three rows of teeth set thick and close, full of black death. Up to her middle she sunk far down in the hollow cave, but forth she holds her heads from the dreadful gulf, and there she fishes, swooping round the rock for dolphins or sea dogs or whatso greater beast she may anywhere take whereof the deep voice Amphitrite feeds countless flocks, thereby no sailors boast that they have fled scatheless ever with their ship, for with each head she carries off a man, whom she has snatched from out the dark proud ship. Charybdis, daughter of Poseidon and Gaia, was a voracious woman, who in one version stole oxen from Hercules, in another version of the story states she laid ruin to land belonging to Zeus with her waves. Outraged and fed up with Charybdis' destruction and or kleptomania, Zeus transformed her into a monster who thrice a day drank down the waters of the sea and thrice threw them up again. Like a bad case of bulimia, she swallowed whole many ships and many men and spat them against the cliffs beside the immense fig tree where she dwells beneath. Charybdis terribly sucked down the salt water of the sea. Verily, whenever she belched it forth like a cauldron on a great fire who would see them bubble in utter turmoil, and high over her the spray would fall on the tops of both the cliffs. But as often as she sucked down the salt water of the sea, within she could all be seen, and round about the rock roared terribly, while beneath the earth appeared blackened sand, and pale fear seized my men. My favorite depiction of Scylla is from Castlevania Symphony of the Night in the Underground Caverns. Konami respected the original portrayal of Scylla, giving her the torso of a woman, three dog heads at her waist, and Scylla worms that look almost like moray eels. Her worms snap at Alucard while she throws bubbles that turn into skulls in a stream of water that hits assumably better than a water gun. My favorite depiction of Charybdis is in God of War Ascension. First of all, Charybdis as a final boss is an amazing cinematic portrayal, making you truly immense yourself and how scary it would be to face a creature of this magnitude and strength. Intense heart palpitating action and all the lovely gory bits from Kratos giving a great deal of pain upon Charybdis makes this scene one of my all time favorites. So there you have it guys, if you like this video please subscribe and hit the notification button to get your heads up on our latest videos. If you'd like to see more please tell me in the comments your suggestions and I will work tirelessly to bring them to life for you. Until next time, thank you for letting mama break down the mythos.